And we're back with part two. All right, so this one's in shed too, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, if you didn't feed your snakes, they wouldn't go in shed. It's funny because I feed these less than ball pythons, <laughs> but they seem to shed more. I know they retake shed like crazy. But, it's, uh, it's just because they grow faster. All right, so I, I absolutely love jaguar stuff. I mean, the jaguar mutation in retics is probably, I mean, other than like the ocelot, jaguar is probably one of the most pattern changing yeah. mutation out there. Right. Uh, I absolutely love it. So, what else has this one got? Marble. Freak. You and the marble stuff. Hey, marble. man, you already knew that getting into this. I was like, hey, man, the marble stuff. Marble and jaguar. So, this is jaguar marble. Uh, I believe 100% het purple or caramel. Wow. Nice. And, uh, again, because I'm, I'm, I'm dumb and I'm new at this, you know what I mean? Purple is a form of albino. albino. Out of purple, and, and white, and then if you do purple and white together, you get lavender. Okay. And, and then caramel, caramel is, is just like a, like in ball pythons. It's Got like it. a cool. toffee or a so, king so candy. So when, when, when we're saying purple and stuff, we're referring to a form of So this albino. came from... It would be an orange glow, so you don't know if they're going to be head albino or head caramel. Got it. But it's one or the other. Yep. So go. normally... Um, and Bob Clark, if I remember correctly, both purple and white came from Bob Clark. So when you hear Clark albino, it's referring it's to one line. of those, yeah. like, like purple you, or you white. Have like a leasing line, something or other you have. Okay, got it. That so sense. this girl does get a little wonky, which is just inherent with the jaguar gene. Yeah. But as long as you keep her calm and stuff, she's usually pretty chill, but like... If she gets moving and she'll be thrashing around, or when yeah, you give her man, food, she, she gets crazy. But she's just a hard, overall, she's just a hard rocker. Man. In other words, jaguar gene and retics is similar to what a uh, spider, spider, would be in or jaguar, or jaguar in the carpet. Okay. Yep. The thing with retics is there's so few genes. I mean, with ball pythons, you could write off the spider, even though it makes amazing snakes. Yeah, yeah. There's so much to work with, but yeah. with retics, the genes there's so much less genes, and then something this. You know, drastic. unique or drastic or whatever you don't get. Yeah. So you almost kind of need it, but I definitely you little oh, shit. Yeah. She's about to get you. I definitely wouldn't she get said, a said, male. Hey. I definitely wouldn't have a male because I'm not going to breed it to multiple females. Right. Yeah. But um, one female or something like that is no yeah. biggie. And I can't tell you like if some are worse than others because I haven't been around enough. So yeah. Right. I'm not a retake breeder. "Quote unquote," yet so <laughs> we're trying, <laughs> working on it. We're learning. We're still. Um, Which I have bred retics, but it's been many, many years enthusiasts ago. Enthusiasts, right now. We're yeah. enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. Getting into the hobby. Getting into it again. Yeah, they're gorgeous, man. Well, the, the clutch of retics I've hatched uh, were nothing like what <laughs> what, well, what these are. Yeah. <laughs> but it's ball pythons were the same way. When you start thinking oh, about some of the I know what that face means. first ball pythons oh. I made, definitely wasn't uh, what we have now. Get so. back in there. Chill. All right, next up. All right, so I actually have the sibling to this one. We'll show you here in a second. But this is a male. Yep. And he is a Super Sun Orange Ghost Trap, which <laughs> unfortunately is in shed yet again. Because so. he is bright orange. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're ridiculously orange. I kind of think it looks cool. Like this. Muted. Yeah. I call that a muted. Muted. It's a hypo. It's a hypo. It's a hypo. It does look very hypo like today. He's like, come on, Eric. You're going the wrong way. Go, go the like, other way. He's like, Eric, go bring me back in there. It's warm. So, one thing I've noticed with the, when you get the super sunfire, and you might, you can't really see it, but you get the black is gets really light with the orange ghost stripe. Gotcha. So, what is the reasoning for having this male? Because just like with ball pythons, your males are super important. Right. They got a link for, you know, what you have going on. So what, so, were, what were you so thinking here? For me, I like the orange ghost stripe stuff. And um, I wanted to get a male to another recessive. And this okay. is a male that I would definitely put into multiple females and make the hats. Um, possibly, I guess, make cows, really. Yeah. And that's what, we, that's what I can make. So if you breed this uh, orange ghost stripe to a phantom yeah. of any sort, then... Because he's super sun, everything will be sunfire. Okay. But if you hit on orange ghost stripe phantoms, right, you can make cows. Okay. And for those of y'all that don't know what a cow, particularly a python, is, it looks like a cow. That's why with black spots. Or an Oreo blizzard. And they, I believe, they start out pretty much all white and then gain the spots gain over the time. Oh, like, like the um, like the bananas do. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm very interested in that. Yep. So you really don't know how extreme it's going to be. 
So technically, what Cal is is a Phantom Het Orange Ghost Drive. Okay. But it makes a visual Lucy mm-hmm. that gets black spots over time. That's so kind of cool. That doesn't really make sense if you work with ball pythons, but that's actually how it works. Well, so it's, it's kind of like it's a it's Phantom. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of like. Ghost, yeah. It's kind of like hit. a Candino, but without the recessive, doing it with codoms. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. She wants, she wants to talk on the mic, so you got something to say. Definitely an awesome snake. Yeah. This oh, one yeah. gorgeous. came from Zhang Shu at JC Reptiles. Yep. Awesome snakes there, too. I can't say enough. The, the few retic uh, people I've dealt with have been fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I know Tony's got a couple guys he's yeah. dealt with that are just all stand-up people. Yeah. I, I've... It's like everything else. You do your research. You know, you, you get to talk to people and you learn who you want to deal with and who right. you don't want to deal with. And I'm and sure, like any other business, there's people you probably shouldn't deal with and there's people that are good right. for the business. And fortunately, with retics, they're slim picking, so it's kind of easy to That's true. figure out who you need to work with and who you don't need to work with. Right, right. exactly. So there's there's not uh, there's not 40,000 people breeding these this species of snakes. So All right. I'll, uh, let me get out the sister to that one. All right, so we just had a major episode with this girl. It's still having yeah. something. This is a Sunfire Possible Super Sun, which got a little poop on her. It's all right. But, Snake uh, people. Orange yeah. Ghost Stripe. Orange Ghost Stripe. So not sure if this is going to be Super Sun or not. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. Self. Phenomenal looking. Yeah, if it's not the Super Sun, she is definitely one of the best Sunfire Orange Ghost Straps out there. And this is the sibling to the one that we showed earlier? Yeah, the one we just showed, yep. So Eric got the male, and I got the female. So the plan is not to breed them together. No. I don't need a whole clutch of Sunfire Orange Ghost Straps or Super Suns. Not to uh, mention, you look at 30 eggs or whatever, and you're like, which one's a super, which yeah. one's not. You'd be there all day trying to compare them. That would be crazy. And retics are also funny. Y'all can, ask, uh, y'all can ask these guys while I was getting her out. She was not having it. Like, no. she was super pissed. They're, they're moody. But they, they pee on you. They poop on you. But, you know, it is what it is. They're she, pretty. And they're she bit the hook a couple of times, uh, trying to bite me a couple of times. Like, mm-hmm. she was not having it. But Now uh, she's chilling. Now she's yeah. just chill. So, um, you used the bathroom, peed everywhere, and well, I mean, you know, got it all out of her system. Now she's good. System. Those were not trying to eat her. I mean, you don't want to mess with them. You got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so. yeah. All right, so I'm going to get out one more uh, out of my personal collection. Maybe, maybe we'll get one of the big girls out to close it out, and then we'll uh, get out of here. This is, this is a pretty favorite. snake. I remember when I remember when this one came here. This is a cool snake. Yeah, I'm not going to say who I got this from. Isn't he? But I will I say I brought it to you. It came with a pile of mites. Oh no, you didn't get it from me. <laughs> I just no, no, no. I I just brought it here. Yeah. So he uh, has a mind of his own. Yeah. And if any of them have bit me more than once, it's uh, this guy. Yeah. So, but he is definitely a looker. So this is a platinum pod and 66% head for albino, which I don't ever plan on using. But but it's there in case you need it. Yeah, we're not a big fan of albino pods. Yeah, I don't like albino pods. So. And he has a white head, which some people charge a lot more for. Right. So, so. this was in between this one and the one that had the weird mask yep. face. And, and I wanted the one with the weird mask yeah. face, but I kind of like how this one looks now. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, Craig's, uh, the brother, I had the option of getting this one or the brother, and the brother had, uh, instead of a crown like some of the pods, like the pinto pods and the ball pythons, um, the brother of this one had pattern on its nose up to his eyeballs. Yeah. It was kind of like, like the snout or whatever. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Like he had a little beard. 
I think it's a lot more stunning with the all white. I agree. Hair. I agree. As as it gets older and the imagine face, when you've got a big old yeah, white head when the face becomes more prominent and then he bites yeah. you. <laughs> so something else that's cool about this one is because of the solid white head, they have solid black eyes. Oh, because there's doesn't a, have the there's pigment no pattern. Stuff. Yeah, the pigment. So the one with the mask had had different colored eyes. Yep, that makes perfect sense. So those black eyes are pretty. Uh, Pretty trippy. That is. Yeah, you're a pretty guy. So you're a pretty guy. Yeah, this, this dude is a a stunning animal. I mean, I, oh, yeah. well, he's the cover photo of our stinking. Yeah. You know, our, and I like how it's getting group, like yeah. that light gray, silver, light yeah. blue, silvery color. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. As an adult, he should be mostly that silver color. That's gonna be real nice. It's like a. I call him like a motorcycle themed. Snake. Yeah. It's like white, black, got some chrome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so that's going to turn into more like a, a grayish blue? Yep. Okay. Should. I mean, I don't know that for sure. I'm but excited to see him as he gets older. He's definitely a looker. Looks quite evil, too, with his black eyes. Oh, yeah. So. All right. I'm going to get him put up, and uh, we'll drag out one of the big girls just to show off as we close this up. All right. Since we talked about marble and how much we like it, Figured I'd show off this single jean marble. So unfortunately, yet again, one's in shed, but this is uh, a marble, and she is 100% het for a rented ghost. Um, don't know that we'll breed her next year, even though she'll probably be ready next year. Uh, the male that I plan on putting this to is a Sunfire rented ghost, and he's still a baby. So that's gonna be an amazing combo. I think Sunfire, so. Sunfire marble rented think, ghost. Yep. So that's what we're going for, but it'd probably be. Not next or not this season coming, but the season after that, maybe if the male's ready. But so this girl is four. Uh, she'll be five this upcoming year, and she's probably what? I'm six foot, so eight. Yeah, eight and thicker than cold ball grits. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. probably pushing eight. Eight foot. foot. I mean, that's that's a good sturdy size too. Yeah, I like this size. I do too. This is this is this is like a fun size. Yeah, and this is pretty much. I mean, she's not going to get much bigger than this. So it's pretty much it. So let me grab this other one though. Eric brings up a good point. So, uh, this is a marble uh, citrus, and uh, once again, in shed, but uh, she's also 100% het for albino, and this female is either five or six years old. Really? Yep. Yeah. This is the one I'm always talking to in the videos yep. and taking pictures of. Yeah, she's super inquisitive, um, super friendly snake. She's super cage aggressive. She eats more than everything else here. Okay. But she's that means anything that drops in. Anything that drops in, she eats like your your hand, a rat, anything. Yep. But she is uh, super chill once you get her out. I'd say she's probably six foot, six yeah. six seven foot. But definitely, you notice the she just doesn't have that. But she's thickness. No, nope. she's she's slim, and that's what makes that's what makes it look cool. Yep. But again, I you know she's that still at that good fun size. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to say that she was six. I think six years old. Was what, what the text said or whatever. Yeah. I can't remember if she's five or six, but she's definitely... At least five. Yeah. Minimum of five, so... Oh, yeah. She's ready to breed. Uh, oh, is she? I just don't have... Are you ready to breed? ...an idea as to what I want to put, put to her. her. <laughs> so, and you don't want to... Haven't paired her this year. breeder to breed her. Yeah, I'm not you trying to get eggs. Every, just like with the ball pythons, yeah. we're not trying to breed snakes just to make snakes. No, with the, no. I think... So. I think we may... Even when we talk about it, be more calculated with the retics because oh, if you be. get 30, 40 eggs of just stuff just to make eggs, that's the last thing you want. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's like making 40 pastels that, in one that, clutch. That's, like, that's, you would never close. do that. Right. So, like, everything we want to breed, there's an outcome that we are looking for and something for the next yeah. step, you know? Yeah. I think, uh, I think I'd like to put something phantom to this, but we don't have any males with phantom, so, so. it may go to the, uh, the Sunfire Genetic Stripe White. White albino. So, what do you reckon that would make us? 
Um, well, she said albino, and which albino I'm not sure about. So it'd be cool to figure out which albino she is, as well as you can get albino and non-albino versions with citrus marble and sunfire. Right, and so, be head G stripe too, and be 100% okay. head G stripes. So, which fits into some of the stuff that Craig's working because yeah. he's got the albino G stripe stuff too. I do. So all yeah. his stuff is either genetic strap or hit, and then everything's hit that he hit, uh, hit right. for albino that he has. That's right. So yeah, but she this is the one I'm always taking pictures of. Yep. The one I'm always talking to. Cause she's always trying to be in the video. She's always moving. This yeah. this is just one of those. She eats all the time, high metabolism, and just moves constantly. Even even you walk in here in the middle of the night, she just runs. I mean, it, she's she, going in the shed too. It looks like yeah, all she's in shed. Yeah. But she's, she's got this cool like like bronze yeah gold like. Two, two pattern is that's what I like about her. Like when she pops her head up there, it's just completely visual. You see everything. Yeah. Gosh, she's pretty. When we start breeding all retics that are this size right here, everybody's gonna have them. Yeah. Well, that's that's. I mean, that was kind of not my goal. That's not my goal because obviously you'll have outliers and things are good big. But right. I think once people handle them and see that you know that's a respectable size snake, but it's nothing out of control. I mean, no. even even handle them. That's what we're talking about. You know. You know, you got a ball python, and, and we jokingly, it's a pet rock, you know, and we joke around and say that. But, I mean, you, you hold your ball python, and it just wraps around you and stuff. These... It's a workout. It's a workout. My arms are burning you, from holding yeah, it. Yeah, you, <laughs> you get something to do. It get, they like to move around. It, it's not just like they're just draped over your shoulder, going yep. about their business. I mean, they're, they're, they're fun. It's like having a, a, a snake with a dog's yeah. brain in it. And what's even more crazy is I can pull out a five-foot... A uh, ball python, which yeah. I have some that are five over five foot, they're not as appealing to people in yeah. general. But I pull out a six foot retic, and people lose their mind, mm -hmm. even though it's only a foot difference. Just the general overall look, look of them changes. Yeah. So, this snake is lighter than a five foot ball python. Right. No joke. So. It's because they're a sports car. That's what they are. Sleek. Yeah. Ferrari. Just, All right. Just gorgeous. There's your retic. See y'all next time. Wow.